All right, come on, you lot. Let's get a move on. We'll miss the first heat. There you go, Simo. The bait's in there. Oh, Julie, thank you. I might get to go fishing. You never know your luck. Speaking of which, good luck, girls. Thank yes, you. Thanks, thanks, Julie. Cheers, Julie. I still don't see why we're going. It's an all-girl competition. We don't even get to serve. Edge, I told you, mate. You're there as support crew for the girls, as one day the girls will support you. Can't wait for that. Get in. so loud, Fly. We can't hear ourselves. I didn't know you any better. I'd say you were nervous. You'd be right, too. You've done heaps of cons before. What's the problem? I haven't competed against Perianna and Beck before. Yeah, and? They're so much better than me. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, that's crazy. You've got just as much talent as any of them. Fine. Heat number four, please. Stacy Pack. Corinne Hardy, Beck Sanderson, and Fiona Watson. Would you please proceed to the marshalling area? You saw the blue girls going down. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Losers. It's a regional comp, of course it was aggro. You gotta find a way to deal with it. But you got one more chance to qualify tomorrow. Don't blow it. I've spent just about every summer here since I was a grommet. Yeah, we dig the dig, Simo. That's our sink, our stove, and our toilet. I know where I'm crashing. Hey, stay out of there. You lot are outside, in tents. One tent for the boys, one for the girls. Except, guys, you'll be putting up both tents since you're not competing. What? You're kidding. That's so unfair, Simo. Get used to it. For the next three days, you do all the cooking, cleaning, shopping, whatever it takes. Make way, folks. Support crew coming through. Dinner. Nice, honey. Oh. Just jump in there, will Oh, you're not going to. Give me a slice. No, 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 have a fun. Have a fun. Come on, Fly. What's bugging you? You saw me out there today. I was hopeless. You weren't hopeless. You just had a bad hate. It not happen to anyone. The Hardy girl pulled my leg rope. Why didn't you tell someone? You could have lodged a protest. The point is, it just got to me. I caved in. Okay, so you caved. Tomorrow, you won't. Yeah, it's a bit rank, isn't it? It's last year's pit. I don't think it's fully composted yet. So what's happening, Flo? Come on. You can talk to me. I do want to win. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Because I know I can. And? And because... 
I let people hassle me out of things. I'm too polite. I want to be tougher. You need to connect with your inner mongrel. My what? Meet me at the beach, five in the morning. What is that smell? Oh, it's probably the pit toilet. No, it's not the toilet. It smells like bad fish. It's coming from my bag. What are fish doing in my bag? Heath? It wasn't me. You've ruined my bag, man. Hey, it wasn't me. <laughs> Matt, that's what you're dead. <laughs> fish in my bag, mate. Hey? Oh, that's it. Ah. I thought you'd get away with it, man. What are you doing? Hey, knock it off. You wake everyone up. He's wrecked my bag. There's fish gunk all through it. I don't want to hear about it. All right, now, no more practical jokes. The girls really need to do well here this weekend, and they need your help. So no more goofing off, or I'll get angry. Really angry. I think we get the point. I don't think I'll forget this. <laughs> I made up my mind because I'm taking my time. Okay, if this is the peak, I want you to sit right here. I was there, but I got pushed out. So don't let him. You have to make the spot yours. Own the zone. Got it? Okay, now I want you to pretend that this is a heat. You're competing against me, and I'm going to do everything I can to put you off. Let's go. You smell something? Yeah, now that you mention it, it's sort of a fishy, edgy sort of smell. Good one, guys. Your sense of humor is so cool. <laughs> Let's go. board cover, but I can't see your board. That's because I didn't bring it. I loaned Perry the cover to protect her board. No problem? No? No problem? I need to borrow a board. Someone's done something to mine. Done what? I don't know. I can't get any grip with my back foot. What? Come on, please. Someone on me a board. I'm running out of time. Take mine. Go, Thank you. Someone want to explain to me why the deck of Perry's board is covered in soap? Don't! Marie Knox, six. Perry Law, four. Ali Henville, 7.5. Kate Gordon, five. I don't believe it! Some rat bags tampered with my board and I'm out of the final. Why would they do that? Edge is about to explain, aren't you, mate? Edge? I'm really sorry, Perry. Honest. I didn't mean it. What? I didn't mean what? I, I thought it was Matt's board. Uh, it was meant to be a joke. I'm really sorry, Perry. 
If there is anything I can do. Can you get me back in the comp? Edge, get back to the caravan. I'll deal with you later. Will Rosemary de Mornay, Kylie Grant, Meg Sanderson, and Fiona Watson proceed to the marshalling area? Thank you. Okay, you guys can both still make the final. I want to see you out there really going for it, okay? Take no prisoners. No, let's do it, guys. Come on, fly. They've got enough points. It's going to be tight. There's one minute to go. Come on, girls. Let's make this last wave count. Why? What happened to Beck? I don't know. But here comes Fly. She forced me off the way. I didn't beg. You deliberately dropped in on me. It wasn't deliberate, we just bumped. All right, enough. It doesn't matter. What's done is done. Carly Grant, four. Rosemary DeMornay, six. Dex Sanderson, five. Fiona Watson, eight. That puts Fiona Watson into the finals with a cumulative score of 13. She'll join Corinne Hardy, Ali Henville, and Emily Cameron. Well, I hope you're happy because that's me out. Thanks a lot, Fly. Beck. Beck! Get it, Fly. She'll calm down. It's all part of winning and losing. Is it? Yeah, it is. Right now, young lady, you are a winner. You did everything we talked about and more. Well done. Edge, I told you, no more pranks. You are so lucky that this comp doesn't go towards Perry's ranking. If it did, I would be stripping points off you left, right and centre. I accept total responsibility. All right, good. Glad you said that. You know, me and my mates have been coming here for nearly 20 years. Now, in all that time, we've been using one torch for the midnight run of the loop. But last night, during a nature call, I dropped the torch. And I would very much like to get it back. Problem is, that pit was dug over a year ago. And there's a lot of chico rolls, hot dogs and meat pies down there. Not to mention last night's pizza. Who would have thought little innocent fly would pull such a snake act? But was it illegal? No, but that's not the issue, is it? The issue is she just went too far. How can you go too far in a competition? She just did, that's all. At least she didn't soap you bored. Well, yeah, with Edge and Fly in the squad, who needs enemies? Where are you going? We've been invited to a loser's party at the clubhouse. A loser's party? It's a tradition. Those who don't make the final get to throw a loser's party. But seeing as you're such a winner, you get to have an early night and rest up for tomorrow. Lucky you, eh? What? What? Did I say something? I don't know who to be anymore. The old me was a loser who was nice to everyone and everyone liked me. Now I'm this aggro nutcase who knocks people off waves. You didn't do anything wrong. If you did, the judges would have disqualified you. You know what? I was really happy that I won. But I beat Beck. So what? Do you reckon Beck would have worried if she beat you? 
I don't want to be like that. Like what? Like a person who thinks that winning is everything. Just because you go all out to win doesn't mean that you've become some anti-social weirdo. It does if it cost me my friends. Look, today you proved that you can be a real competitor. Okay, they're not used to that. And suddenly, sweet, cute little fly has to be taken seriously. so touchy because I'm sure you've snaked people in the past. Only if they got in the way. Yeah, well, you got in Fly's way. You know what? I don't need this right now, OK? Don't let it get to you. Do you want to dance? Yeah, now. Come on. Simo, I don't feel so good. I don't think I'm going to be able to compete. Oh, you're going to compete, Fly. And you'll give it everything you've got. Honestly, I feel lousy. Well, you shouldn't have stayed out all last night acting the goat, should you? How did I you... I wasn't born yesterday. Right? I don't know. Fly, you've got two choices here. You can pack up your stuff and get back to Western Australia, or you can get out there and surf like there's no tomorrow. It's up to you. I'm so tired, I can hardly see straight. My stomach feels like I've got big green bugs swimming in it. Okay, and whose fault is that? I know. No need to rub it in. Okay, now, the way I see it, if you want to win, the one you're going to have to beat is that hardy girl. I'm not going to win, Heath. You want to know why? I'm just not a competitor. I haven't got the killer instinct. I know that. Which is why Matt and I have come up with a plan for you. So, this tea towel is the main zone, right? This is the hardy chick and this is you. Now, the essence of this plan is to psych her out. So, instead of sitting in the takeoff zone, you paddle hard out to one side. You make her think that you know a better place to take off. I'm trying to lay a seed of doubt in her mind. Exactly. So when she paddles across to find out what's going on, then you move. Just one thing. What? What if she doesn't follow me out there? Then you'll probably lose. Great. Come on. Time to get moving. Yep. Well, Fiona Watson, Corinne Hardy, Emily Cameron, Ali Henville report to the marshalling area. We should go and wish you good luck. You bet. Beck. Come on, Beck. I think you're being really mean. All right, Fly. Time to show them what you can do. I'll do my best. That's all I'm asking. You can do it, right? Listen for our cheering. We'll be totally over the top. Promise. Thanks, guys. Hey, get him, champ. Go! Good fly. Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Make sure you stay out of my way, right? I don't want to go anywhere near you, right? Good. Keep it that way. I've been watching the swell. They've been coming in in sets of three, and the last one's usually the biggest. Thanks. You can beat her, you know. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, good luck, hey. Go get her.
Yoda Watson, five. Now the essence of this plan is to psych her out. You have to make the spot yours. Own the zone. You make her think that you know a better place to take off. What if she doesn't follow me out there? What's going on? She's not sticking to our plan. I don't know. I do want to win. Why? Because I know I can. You need to connect with your inner mongrel. Guys, what's the flight doing? Uh, I don't know. Could be tactics. Whose tactics? Needs me. Yes! yes! <laughs> this doesn't work. You're both in history. with a total score of 27.5. Fiona Watson. Congratulations, Fiona. Would you like to come up to you, I'd just like to thank Solar Blue Industries, my coach Simo, friends from the Academy, and hey, boys looking out for me. Yay! <laughs> Fiona, first under 16 regional win, how does it feel? Great. Right, Simo, all packed, done. Right. How long till we go home? Well, that depends how long we want Edge to dig around looking for this torch. <laughs> oh. It's your call, Perry. Give it another half an hour. Done.